Hey Nesters, today is the day. It's finally happening. So you guys know I've been talking about doing this 1970s floral plate wall for quite some time and I have delayed for so long because I haven't quite found the amount that I wanted but I'm tired of looking at this blank wall here waiting for it so I'm going to go ahead and get it started today and you know I can always go ahead and add to it I'm hoping to find some at yard sales this summertime I haven't been doing as much thrifting because the prices have been a little bit higher than you know I really want to pay these days so I've been waiting for yard sale season to get back out there and I'm excited to find more but definitely want to get started. I will go ahead and show you the ones I picked up so far. Another reason why I was delaying putting these ones up was because I couldn't decide what I wanted to put on it for an attachment. So, you know, I did some research and decided to kind of make shift something, a little bit of MacGyver, a little bit of something that was already meant for it. So I'll show you guys that method I'm using in a little bit, but I'll go ahead and show you the plates that I've been able to pick up so far. So the first one I have is this one here. It is in the mountain floral pattern. It's very pretty. I am trying to stick to just the florals and if I can get it in the 1970s colors, even better, but I'm not gonna be as picky about that because there are some other ones that I enjoy, but I am trying to keep it floral. So that is the first one. The next one I have is this one here. This is in Chablis is the pattern of it. I'm lucky in the fact that a lot of these are in the colors that I enjoy, so it's not too hard to stick to that color scheme. The next one here is Wellington. Very pretty. So I do want to note I've done a few of these already and I kept a couple to show you how I do it. And so on the back, you want to be careful when you're doing the attachments because, you know, naturally when you're doing it, you're going to want to turn it this way because that's the way, you know, the writing is. But if I would have started up here, <laughs> my flower would have been like that and it wouldn't look so good, right? So you definitely want to be sure to put it up this way and then be very carefully turn it over and line up your finger to put it where you need to put it. So as you can see, I only paid 49 cents for that. <laughs> and the stickers on the back, usually I just leave it. It's kind of fun to see how much I paid for it if I ever take it down. <laughs> the next one is this here. This one is called Garden Festival. I do have a few larger ones. I was trying to find the smaller size kind of like the bread plates or saucers but i did want to mix a few larger ones in and this one was my favorite one i found so far because it was named charlotte i have a niece named charlotte and i just thought it was really adorable this one's actually a little bit newer if you count 1985 as newer most of the other ones are from the 70s but so fun so i was happy to get this one here this is probably the only one that i have so far that bumps out of my main color scheme but i love it so much i love the blue and i am a pretty big fan of the blue as well so again this one the florals this way and if i did it you know with the writing it'd be upside down so you know i don't really want to hang it that way so i'll have to be careful when i add that and i'll go ahead and show you guys how i ended up doing it this one is also called garden festival so it's kind of interesting so one thing i noticed that these are both called garden festival on the back and they're you know by the same maker so i'm wondering if these originally came in a mix and match set so that's kind of exciting i'll have to see if i can find any more and see what actually came with the set so that's pretty cool and the last one I have in my collection so far is this here. And this one is the Trellis Blossom. This one's put up by Mountain Wood. So that's my second large plate that I have there. So I have, I have seven in total here. I think I actually have one other one that I had in my cabinet and I forgot about it. So I gotta grab that one as well. But that is kind of the gist of what 
the look is, the type that I'm going for. So today is the day. It is finally happening. I am so excited to finally get this project underway. I have been wanting to do this for probably well over two years now and I've been collecting them slowly but it just I, I wasn't finding them as fast as I thought I would and I'm kind of got this perfectionist mindset where I'm like okay I'll, I'll do the project once I have everything but it's one of those things where I feel like you know I already have a dedicated space for it so I can go ahead and get it started and then I'll have spaces for the others waiting for them when I find them so it'll be a work in progress kind of a gallery wall I guess and yeah so let's go ahead and get started and let's get this project on the road so this is what I've been living with you see how it's so unbalanced and it's been driving me crazy so I could not put this project off any longer so I'm happy to get this going and I think it's gonna look really nice once I get enough plates but that could take a while. Hopefully by the end of the summer, I will be able to gather the amount where it looks more balanced. And yeah, I'm excited to get the collection going. I don't want to repeat patterns, but I know there are quite a few of the different floral plates that were made in the 70s. So yeah, I look forward to going ahead and finding those. And there's my famous cruel art. I have it above my hutch now, so I did move that. I thought it looked nice up there. It was pretty large. I have pretty large vaulted ceiling, so it looks nice up there, I think. All right, so this is my progress so far. One thing I noticed on these smaller ones, a couple of them are sticking out a little bit. You can see how this is popped out just slightly. I'm going to take this off and try to adjust the hook and see if I can get it to lay more flat on the wall, but I like it so far. So you see, when I had this go to the top here, the screw head is hitting that, so it's making it pop out just slightly. So you want to make sure this is down in this area, not at the top. The smaller ones, I just didn't do that on. <laughs> so. It is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and redo it here and I guess turn it upside down. Or you could do it in the middle too, but. Yep, that was my mistake. So you guys can learn from my mistakes. So ideally this is what you want it to look like. So it'll be flat. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna fix this one. You see, I did this one correct. <laughs> Got the tape. Going up that way, I double taped it both sides and then taped over again. So just for some extra security. So what you're going to want to get, if you want to hang them up like I did, I got this bag of 3M hooks. I got a pretty good deal on Amazon. I opted to get the larger bag in case I wanted to do more projects in the future. And then I am reinforcing it with this Gorilla Tape here. So that is my plan. I didn't want to quite fully trust in this because these are pretty heavy. So I wanted to make sure that I, for peace of mind, I would put some more of this heavy duty tape on the back of it. So I have my plate the way I want it to go. So I'm gonna keep my finger there as a placeholder, make sure it's there. So it's actually like a little bit crooked. I want it about here. Let's take this off the back. And then I want the triangle to hit just below it. I want to do it about right there and then just press down. It should be straight. Then I'm just going to grab a little bit of tape off of this. I handed in the scissors. i measure that out. I should take a little slither off the bottom because I don't quite need that much. I put it on the side. I'm just going to put it here, help reinforce it super heavy duty tape and it will give me peace of mind and I take the little strips and I'll put it on the sides here make sure I get some on the side overlapping onto the plate press down around the edges of the 3m Same on the other side. Down, press 
mixing on the edges. And then I'm gonna put another piece over the back side of that just to help reinforce those side pieces. And that is that. Should be good there. It's reinforced nice and tight, not going anywhere. So just gives me a peace of mind and I know it won't fall off the wall, so. So this is my final result. This is what I got so far. I really like it. As you can see, I have lots of room to grow and add to it. My hope is to add more at the top and then kind of even go up through there. So lots of collecting I will get to be able to do, but it'll be a work in progress. And I'm glad to have finally got it started. Very happy with how it looks. As you can see, it looks much better. Obviously there is a lot of extra space. I will be searching for plates for it, but I'm happy I went ahead and got it started. I am really excited with how it turned out. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and be sure to leave me a comment down in the video of what you thought about it and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.